Hey guys, so it's Levi again. Recently I just moved into my new apartment. Me and uh, a friend got our own place and I am now shooting in this little room right here which is a pretty big room that I have to set up my PC and all my lights and stuff that I can shoot with now. I want to talk about the process of moving in so um, about like three weeks ago and got all the information straightened out and got all the prices and made sure I had enough money. I learned that living on campus was really expensive and so now I'm saving like eight thousand dollars a year by just living in an apartment. <sighs> I think the only downside of this apartment really is that it has no AC. We have to install that ourselves and it was completely unfurnished but the landlord's really cool. It was really well worth the price for what we were getting and um, there's no fan in here and I don't have a fan. I have fans on my computer but I can't stick my face over the computer especially when I'm editing. So that's not going to work out too well. The process of moving in was pretty pretty easy. Um, when we got here though, um, we were setting all up our stuff and me, my roommate, and his parents were here. And then my dad was on his way with all my stuff. And what's funny was he had a blowout in the SUV. So he was stuck at a rest stop about an hour and a half away. And he texted me, texted me and said, I had a blowout. I don't know what I'm going to do. So like automatically I was just like freaking out like what am I gonna do shit how's my stuff gonna get here and like how's this gonna be resolved how's this gonna play out so many things were running through my head at that moment and I was just like what am I gonna do he didn't have an extreme blowout it was just like the tire was still had some air in it it was just like the outside flap of the tire um, the very outer edge of the tire I guess um, the rubber was peeling off and so that was bad if he, he, he could have had a blowout, like even worse blowout, it could have just been on the rim, which is originally what I thought like ha had happened, but now he has minor blowout, he had some trucker help him out with something, and then he drove like 15 miles an hour, three miles away to the nearest tire shop. In the meantime of that happening, uh, me and my roommate went and got the electricity and the PO box set up. It really only took like... 30 to 45, 45 minutes really just to get everything set up and then today we took care of the internet and it's a funny thing about the internet because I bought a Wi-Fi card it was a gigabyte something it was one of the first things you see on Amazon if you look up Wi-Fi card it's a very unstable Wi-Fi card I read that if you just deactivate the Bluetooth the Wi-Fi would at least work fine and so um, before I did that the internet would drop every like 30 seconds to a minute every single fucking minute but I disabled the Bluetooth and now the Wi-Fi I haven't had a drop out and I've gotten some pretty uh, you know decent speeds for Wi-Fi and we have 20 megabit per second internet which is I don't really know if that's all that great but it must not be that great because the lowest that they offer is 10 and just yeah I mean it, it seems to be working fine for me so far overall the stress of moving in was not that stressful. I just kind of wanted to take the time to let you guys know of my experience. Um, you know, get an apartment set up and stuff just to let everybody know who wants to know um, about my experience with getting an apartment. And, um, you know, it may just be a small apartment and, you know, not really much to anybody else. But to me, like, at least at this point in time, it's, it's exciting. It's my first place and, you know, good times here. So, anyways, I'll leave you guys off with that and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.